Would you believe we came back the very next day to do Magdalena Peak? Today's, we got to a rough start. For one, I lost my beanie cap and I'm pretty pissed off about that right now. Fortunately, I had my schmuck. So, it's a paved road. Don't know if it's paved all the way to the top to the observatory, but that's convenient. Here we go. So there's a variety of ways that you can choose to go up this thing. If you're trying to avoid the paved road with the fence, uh, you could continue to push north and wrap around the mountain and um, go up from there on the north side or continue cutting around north and then back down south on the west side and then go up one of the slopes there, which is what I'm on right now. Um, or you can punch, you can start south and just go up the steep side um, but there are a couple ways that you can choose to do this, Jesus Christ. Um, if you want to peak this mountain, I'm on the mesa, so flat part or whatever. Uh, another thing, you could go the way I went yesterday to go to the other mountain, except that's an old fence with no signs. So I'm wondering if those fences have more to do with the old ranches that are abandoned. So, yeah, and I'm back, <laughs> look at that. Here we are on the road again. So, yeah, just be smart. It's the Mesa, Mesa Azure, Azure, whatever. But I'm gonna check it out real quick. So I think I'm on the highest point right now. Check that out, Ooh. Because I'm right now standing higher than any of the cement behind me. But I have to check the other side of the structure out too. But I think where I'm standing is the highest point on Magdalena Peak. So I made it. Ta-da.
would you look at that? There is a survey marker up here. Flat top. Well, would you look at that? I guess this mountain went by a different name at one point. <laughs> Found another one and a cairn. I wonder if this one says flat top too. Yep. Alright, I walked the circumference of the summit. And it's gonna get late in a little bit, so I'm gonna head down now. So this is fun. It's pretty cool. Well, it's a straight shot for a while, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, hope you found this video insightful and maybe even a little entertaining. It was certainly unique for me. Well, they're all unique for me. I'm sore. I feel like we've explored a good chunk of the Sierra de las Uvas wilderness and some of Two of their tallest peaks, so that's cool. I'll do Sugarloaf Peak one day. I don't know when, but one day. So, see you later.